Hello, my name is Lori Elke. I'm an artist, an art teacher, and an illustrator. And one of my favorite things to do is to illustrate Bible verses um, just by having the words and then adding some flowers around the outside. So the verse that I did this time was, the Lord is on my side, I will not fear. It's from Psalm 118, verse six. And as you can see, I added some blue and some red flowers that kind of go all the way around the outside. So I will walk you step by step through how to paint this picture and see if you can do something similar. You can always add your own flair to it as well. All right, if you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe down below so that you can get notified whenever I put more up on my channel. All right, thanks so much for watching. So I got the Bible verse on the computer and I just printed it off and traced it because I'm not super awesome at lettering or it just takes me a long time. And so I went ahead and put that on and I just used a Sharpie to draw it. And now of course you see I'm adding the flowers. So I usually start with the focal point, which in this case is gonna be on the bottom right corner of my painting. And you can see I added a really nice large blue flower. I'm using a size six round brush and I'm just starting with the petals and then adding a little bit of dark in the middle while the petals are still wet. The fun thing about this type of painting is you can really make it whatever you want to be. You can do whatever colors, whatever types of flowers. So I'm going with these nice, big, cheerful flowers. I'm leaving the centers open right now. I will add some center stuff later. Next I'm going in with some red and I'm trying to make my petals a little bit skinnier just to make them look a little bit different than my other flowers. And I'm putting some right around the focal point flower to make that kind of a bigger cluster and then just kind of keeping it thin the rest of the way around the wreath. Now that I have my main flowers in, I'm gonna add some leaves to go around the wreath. Um, right now, these are some nice light colored leaves just to use as like a filler. I'm making the leaves nice and long and skinny. When I'm making leaves on a wreath, I like to make some that are really light some that are medium in color and some of them that are a lot darker just to add some variety. Now I'm adding some larger leaves closer to my flowers just to kind of help make them stand out even a little bit more. I'm trying not to touch the petals because they're still a little wet. And if my leaves do touch the petals, then they might bleed together with the blue. So I'm trying to kind of be careful when I get too close to the flowers. And instead just kind of have the leaves floating nearby. I'm using Shin Han professional watercolors and as you can see I've just squirted the tubes into this little tray and then as I get it wet with water it uh, comes to life again. I'm adding these green dark um, lines to kind of give a different texture to my picture so instead of having all the soft edges now I got kind of some more texture like things going on so sometimes when I add these I even add little like dots at the end of the sticks to make it look like little buds. This time I'm just going to leave them. I also decided I needed a couple more red flowers just to help fill out the wreath and make it look a little bit more full. And these ones are not facing forward so I'm just seeing maybe like the side view of them. I wanted to add a couple of smaller leaves here and there too, just to kind of help fill out the wreath as well. So I'm kind of adding these clusters of little leaves that are kind of medium tone or value.
Now I'm gonna go in and add some of the veins on the leaves and I do this with a smaller brush. This is like a size one. And it looks really well for adding those little details. Next, I'm adding the centers of the blue flowers. I'm using a dark blue, it's a Prussian blue. And I'm adding a couple lines just to add some interest to the centers of the flowers. I'm also adding dark blue centers to the red flowers as well. I decided that I still wanted a little bit more color in my wreath, so I'm adding these kind of clusters of berry looking things, it's, or maybe they're little flowers, I don't know, it's just kind of something I made up to kind of add another filler to the wreath and a little bit more color. So I'm just dotting my brush a bunch with some red and using it to kind of fill out the rest of my wreath and add a little bit more interest and in color. You really have fun with these, play around with them, see what works for you. Maybe use the colors of whatever theme you've got in the room that you're gonna hang it up in. Once you feel like you've filled your wreath out enough, then you can go ahead and call it a masterpiece and have it all finished. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial and I hope you are enjoying my videos.